Hey Bales, welcome back to a little different video. Normally it's gaming videos or programming, but this time it is Photoshop. And why is that? Yeah, well, that's because that I found some features I really like and I didn't know about before now. And I don't know if others know about them. Um, I have uh, recently, as you can see in this tweet, um, seen that there is some capabilities toward video in Photoshop, uh, which I have used and tried a little with um, for some overlays and stuff like that. Um, there's some features making it... Uh, you can make a transparent movie. Um, now we don't have any frames, so but I'll show you later. Um, but then I tried to dig a little more into the features because I thought maybe you could animate things because as it is right now uh, and if you search YouTube for animation um, videos uh, how to animate in Photoshop then at least what I found was a layer upon layer upon layer with uh, if we open the timeline down here um, then most of them was the uh, frame animations where you change each for each frames. Um, some of them was using this, but it was the you just had to make a whole lot of layers to make the animations, and I don't want to do that. That's just too awful. Um, so I dug into things in the here, and um, I knew you I could import a video, and if I import a video then it shows up in a layer for, uh, for itself and a uh, frame by frame layer. Um, down here I can't do anything to make a video um, layer, but uh, I search the things up here and what do you know? There is actually a new blank video layer. Oh, let's zoom in a little. Uh, this one wasn't created with many frames, actually I think it's only one. Um, I can't really seem to do anything here, um, but if we do something like this and then do something like that, then it will create a video layer in more extended version. Um, and what's so special about this video layer? Well, it allows you to animate things. Um, so I will call this animation layer, just because I'm so smart. Now, um, as you see here, if I draw something in this layer, like uh, actually this is background layer that, that is static for all the images. So let's just draw the ground here. And then if I, for example, here draws a and as you'll see, if I move on to the next frame uh, here, he's gone. And that's because that on the video layer, uh, every frame has its own image. Uh, and that's great for animation, but uh, one big problem when you're animating is if you draw on the next layer, then you need to know where to draw the things to make the changes. There is something to do about that too here, because if you go here in the settings menu on the side, and then there is enable onion skins and onion skin settings. If you go in there, you can see frames before and frames after. Right now just one one frame, but multiple can be useful. Um, and then it will draw in a transparent layer, uh, the last and the next frame. So now we can, for example, make a keyframe here, a new keyframe, um, where he is. And I'm sorry about the drawing. Uh, I'm not that great at drawing on the computer with a mice mouse, um, but you get that here. Here he is. Now we got two keyframes, but as you see down here, we don't have like frame per frame, and we can't convert it, uh, the video thing over in the 
uh, what's it called, uh, frame animation, because then it will just be one. What do we do? Well, if you go to the, for example, if you want a, after the first frame, if you go to layer and uh, video layers, and then to uh, insert blank frame, you can get a new frame between between the two, making you possible to uh, between the two frames. Now, because I changed the uh, anime uh, timeline uh, to frame by frame, it lost the onion skinning, but we can just enable that one more time. And you will see both the onion skins here. Um, so now we can draw the head in between the other two heads, and we can draw the body in between and in between and in between and in between and in between. Now we got uh, a more smooth animation and we can keep on doing this in between every frame until it is as smooth as we, as we want. And uh, the onion skinning is not permanent so um, we can just disable it here, and then it will continue. So, um, yeah, that was the main thing I wanted to show. Now, earlier I, uh, in the video, I talked about uh, exporting videos. And uh, that's just export render video. Now, here you've got some render options. Um, and if you have QuickTime installed, you can use this uh, QuickTime options with allows transparency. So if we, for example, didn't have a background and we just wanted this guy alone, and uh, let's just cut this down so it will not take any too long to animate. Then um, we can export render video and desktop is fine and we want let's just try you can mix and match with these a little uh, try what works best for you let's just take straight unmatted and uh, render and then it will, will uh, render this as a movie uh, a video file and um, let's just quit here now it's here um, I think it is I think it is uh, too short to show because four frames is not a long span um, for a video. And that's way less than a second, I think. But you get the idea. Um, the video is exported, and yes, um, that was about that. Thanks for watching.